Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scatinio, aka Scat, and I've got a brand new unboxing video for you today. Well, today we're going to do something actually just a little bit different um because these are actually two retro unboxings that i'm going to do for you today um don't think i've ever done a retro unboxing on the channel before but i picked up some retro games from like 20 years ago really excited about getting to play them again and i'm gonna unbox them both for you today uh, i'm gonna do them one by one so obviously this is going to be the first unboxing i'll do a second video for the second unboxing and we're going to get into it so um i don't know which is which so i'm just gonna open the smaller package first so i'll put that one on the side um obviously you, you're gonna know what it is by the title in the video but as of yet i don't know which one this is um so we're gonna crack it right open and this one guys is actually one that i'm very very excited for and that is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 1. Now, just let me clarify something, right? The PlayStation 1 is by far my favourite console of all time. And recently, I've been really, really wanting to go back and play quite a lot of PlayStation 1 games again. Um, mainly the ones, obviously, you can't get on the PlayStation Store via the PS1 Classics. Now... When I first got my PlayStation 3 many, many years ago, and it was the fat, I believe, 60 gigabyte PlayStation 3, you was actually able to play PS1 and PS2 games. Now, what I didn't realize was when Sony actually took the backwards compatibility away from the PlayStation 3, they actually only took it away for the PlayStation 2 games. Now, for all this time, for all these years, I thought they completely got rid of backwards compatibility. And I literally only found out like a few days ago that you can still play PS1 games on your PS3. And it's like my mind was blown because I've literally been like looking online, looking on eBay, looking on Amazon, Cash Generator, all these places looking to actually pick up a PlayStation 1 console just in order to, to play these games again. But then I was thinking, well, how, how will I attach my PS1 console to these brand new 4K Ultra HD TVs? Am I going to need like special cables and all the rest of it? And then two of my boys hit me up and basically said, yeah, you know, your PS3 still plays the PS1 game. So I was like, whoa, like mine completely blown. So I was like straight on eBay, started collecting these games, picking up these games that I've been really, really wanting to play again. And the first one, well, the first one that I've unboxed today, of course, is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 1. Now, I will give you a close up on this, guys. Now, this is, obviously, these games are used, they're like 20 years old, near enough for uh, some of them. So, we're going to see what kind of condition it is. I mean, the box is in pretty good condition. Um, I can see a little crack at the side here, tiny crack, but, you know, other than that, it's in a pretty good condition already, the box. Oh, I'm just excited. Funny thing, though, about Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is I never actually played this version I had the PlayStation 2 version at the time, um, so obviously I'm guessing that's going to be the more superior version, better graphics and whatnot, but I'm looking forward to getting into this on the PlayStation 1 either way. So we're going to open it up, and from what eBay told me, the manual is in there, the disc is in great condition, so we're actually going to see if this is true. It's been about 15 years since I ever bought anything off eBay. So we're going to see, well, first of all, the manual and the disc fell out, which isn't always a good sign. But maybe that's just a sign of the postman not taking care of stuff. So first of all, and it it's so happy to see, really is, that we, we've got a manual. We've got a manual. It's been years since we had proper manuals. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. It's all in English. It's not just about warranties. We have a manual. It's not in full colour, but it's a proper manual, guys. And, of course, we have the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secret disc. So let me just have a look at this disc. And I tell you what, it is clean. There's not one scratch on that. That is a near, like new copy of this game. Um... 
couple of scuff, ma scuff marks just on the back of the manual, but no, no writing inside of it, like no one scrawled all over it with a pen, anything like that. Um, that is fantastic. Really, really happy with that. And I have checked the compatibility list for the PlayStation 1 on the PS3, and this game does actually work. So obviously the real test is to see if it actually works in the PS3, which I, of course, will be checking that out. Let's have a close-up. Okay, so that's it from me guys for part one of my retro day unboxings um, I've got another unboxing coming up very very shortly so stick around on my channel today if you want to see what that next game is um, I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing I can't wait to get into this tonight um, so excited to be playing PS1 games again like I say there are PS1 classics that you can download from the PlayStation Store but there's a lot of games on there that are just you know that you can't get basically there's a lot of games you can't get that i really really want to play again and this was one of them um and, let, and let's face it you can't even get playstation 1 games on the playstation 4 at the moment you can still only download them on the playstation 3 so really really excited about getting into this guys so as always please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe i'm your boy scatino and i'm out peace